Welcome back to episode 313 of the Death Walkthrough. Last time, if you haven't checked it out already, we uh, we defeated the Bantam, which was pretty cool. Uh, and we, we had a ceremony and it kind of did not go well. The volcano is now trying to explode and we are trying to stop that. So yeah, welcome back. We had to collect some hibiscus flowers and where are we bringing them? That is a great question. Up here, apparently. Up here. Over here. Oh, look, they're all here now. Ah, there you are. Tosh is just making some final adjustments to the trebuchet. I see you collected a lot of hibiscus. Oh, of course. Hibiscus is sacred to the old ones too. They are what were supposed to be sacrificed all along. Great thinking, Tosh. But why so many? The flowers are for the altar, Aunt Juju. I'm sorry if I was being misleading. I just couldn't risk someone trying to stop me from being important. What? I... I don't understand. Tosh sacrificed himself, yet Kilowahu has grown angrier? What more does the old one want from us? I give up. I can't quite find the right memories, but something tells me this is all wrong. We must get to the top of the volcano. I spied a path this way. Um... Yikes. Hey, wizard, shouldn't you be running away from the volcano? You have a plan. Well, I hope it's better than Tosh's. If not, we're all toast. Here's the way up, wizard. Go! Jeez, he just, he just yeeted himself into a volcano. Oh my gosh, that took a really dark turn really quickly. Um, but yeah, let's go and find our way through the volcano. That is what we're doing today. So that's great. That's great. Welcome to the volcano. I hope you weren't expecting an easy route to the top of the volcano. Probably wasn't. Um, this reminds me of the Borealis Peaks in Polaris, except green and not icy. So these are fiery kilopedes, fire, death. They have 3,845 health. They are rank 18. Um, hopefully they don't resist too much. If they do, oh well. Oh well, we should be fine, right? Probably, maybe, most likely, hopefully. Um, okay, Dark Pact, interesting choice. Interesting choice there. Uh, let, let me see what these guys have. These guys could be kind of funny. Um, the Fiery Calipede. Let's find out. They have things and stuff that they do. That is like, do you think we can kill? I think we can try it. I think we can do it. Um. Okay. Death. What does that do? They're not. Nope. That is. That is not what we were looking for. Very sad. <laughs> Very sad. Um. 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 Yep. Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I need to figure out what quest we're on as well. But, um, we'll, we'll sort that later. But yeah, not too difficult. Um, they are dead, which is good. Very good. Um, right. Whoa! Oh, the path continues this way, wizard. And it doesn't appear to get any easier. Curd yourself. Okay. Um, is our bag out of space? No, it must be gold. It is gold. We're running out of gold space. Um, right, next is Humangos. Um, they are... Oh, look! More of the mana-corrupted yet cleverly named Mango Monsters. Um, yeah, more Humangos. These guys are life and death, so that's exciting. Very exciting. Um... These guys have 4,130 health. They're also rank 18s. And we will destroy them momentarily. Um, they have a 53% resist to death, a 15% boost to life. Um, they have an outgoing damage boost of 81%. 
and outcoming and incoming healing is about 25-ish percent on average. It's slightly different for each of them, but it's around 25 percent. Um, yeah, they know Pigsy, and they know Shipper Falls and Dr. Von, Death Ninja Pig, and they're slightly annoying. So, yeah, what is that? A minus 25, excuse me. What does this look like? Does this look like I want to be weakened right now? No. The answer is no. Um, but yeah, they do know Dark Pact as well, which is slightly, slightly annoying, but is fine. Is fine. Uh, what is this? Just a natural attack. I kind of, I don't know if I'm a fan of the natural attacks in this, in this world. They're more like a traditional, like our natural attack, not a natural attack as in, in the sense that they come into the fight and do their thing and slap us around a little bit. I prefer those ones personally. Um... But that's just my opinion. Feel free to disagree with me, but I feel like it's a lot nicer when they come in and slap us instead of just have some particles around us, you know? I just I just prefer that. I, I think it's okay for us to do that, but for them, I like them just slapping me a little bit, you know? Because usually they have, like, kind of cool, unique sort of things, depending on the type of creature that they are. And I kind of like that variety um, instead of, like, these ones, which are just kind of like, eh. You know, it's whatever. We could do that ourselves, you know. We could do that, but we can't see a big, a big, a big humango coming in and slapping us every day, you know. You have to actually go and fight them for that, usually. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit with Scarecrow. Should kill. If not, we will ship a fools. Um, so yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. But as I did say, they do have a 53% around that resist to death. I don't know if that's exactly accurate. Um, but it would be around that sort of resist to death, which is kind of unfortunate, but hey, it's fine. We'll use some of our PS that we have, some of our non-existent, like, 12 PS or something. Still killed, I think. Just. Only just. Did I? Yeah, I did. Cool. Okay. Just. Any less damage and I would not have killed. Fine work, wizard. This way! Okay, we got a sparkling defense amethyst, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh-oh. We're at quite the elevation now. I'll find a way up to the top of the volcano. You deal with whatever that is. <sighs> okay, this is boss. This is boss. This is boss. Very scary. Um, he is Storm. He has 126 outgoing damage. Um... He, he is Storm. He has heals, and he can heal boost himself for, like, a whole bunch. So, he's kind of good. He has a 73% resist to Storm and a 5% boost to Myth, which is slightly, slightly worrying. Um, he doesn't have much health, though. He only has uh, 9,935, which is kind of good. Kind of good. But he knows basically every single Shadow spell, except um, Iron Sultan, apparently. And he knows Prism's... He knows Dark Wind, which is the um, the global spell. He knows Balance Blade and Storm Blade, and Berry Surprise, and obviously Dark and Stormy, which is also does a heal. So he can heal a little bit, um, and he does have a decent healing boost. He can also stun with Storm Lord, as we are seeing right now, and he also can Storm Dragon, which is a minus fifty percent accuracy debuff on that. So slightly worrying. Uh, and also he can Sirens as well, which is minus 40% accuracy debuff. So he really likes to stun and make you fizzle. Which, understandable. Honestly, me too. Me too, dude. Me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. Luckily, he only gets one um, one Shadow Pip, which is kind of nice. He can't bulk hoard them or whatever. Also, that Myth minion. Stunning as well. That is not cool. That is not cool. The Myth minion, by the way... Um, is 3,890 health, 15% boost to Storm, and 35% resist of, um, myth. So, slightly, slightly dangerous. Slightly dangerous. He has, he knows math, mass myth trap, mythic fuel, blinding light, um, shockwave, which, um, stuns for one round and removes one shield for all of the enemies, which is kind of interesting. This is very surprise. Um slightly painful 
slightly painful with the myth traps. Yikes. Ouch. This is gonna hurt. Yup. That hurt. Um, he also knows Yellow Troll Keeper and Reliquary and Authorist. So, the minion's not too good, but, you know, it's something to be careful of. Do I hit or do I wait one round? What can they do to me in one round? They don't have Iron Sultan, so we should be fine, right? What is their lowest perp? Storm Squall? Berry su another Berry Surprise. Luckily, we don't have as many traps, so that's fine. Another Berry Surprise isn't too bad. Um, but the Myth Minion could do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. That would not be good. That would be very ungood. Uncool and un ungood. Let's hit now. This may not kill the boss, but it's fine. If it doesn't, we can follow up with a um, old one boy. Grim Reader. I always forget the name of the spell, but it's the Grim Reader. It's actually a really cool spell. I think it's my favorite. Other than Dark and Stormy. Dark and Stormy is such a good spell as well. The looks of it, it is. Um, but yeah, Grim Reader just looks so good. So good. Most of the spells this year are really, really cool. I'm a little bit less... You made it, wizard! The top of the volcano is but a simple vine climb away. That is a common mode of mobility, yes? Sure thing. Um, I'm a little bit less... I think the worst one, in my opinion, is the fire one, Blast Off. Just because it feels a little bit cheap. But all the other ones I'm super happy with. Hang tight, Wahoo! Jeez... Can you believe I was able to catch you with the bantam net? Only to get startled and knock you into this hole. Sorry. Ah! I mean, ha ah, ah. Hey kid, turns out the noise that spooked me was the dastardly wizard. Give me a sec to deal with them, then I'll get you out. The wizard? They're not dastardly, they're my friend. Maybe they can help you get me out, and fast. I think I see something moving down below. Your friend? Okay, now I'm confused. Wizard, explain yourself. How about I not? I don't think I need to explain myself to you. Oh, so you mistakenly reinstated the barbaric Wahoo's sacrifice. <laughs> Amateur, in the future, leave the heroics to the heroes. Like me, the Banta. Oh, right, we've already done that bit. Anyway, as I was saying... Us real heroes have awesome hero tools, such as the Wahoo Net. The net's toast now, but like the Bantam mantle itself, it was passed down from Bantam father to son. It caught many a flung lemur over the years. See, ever since a would-be Wahoo saved my ancestor from wing brotherhood pirates, my family has been the sworn protector of mistreated lemurs. Wizard, are these stairs? This is definitely not a natural geological formation. No doubt one of the old one's monitoring stations is close. But eventually Lemuria settled down, and the Bantam was needed less. So he became a ghost, waiting, watching from the shadows. There were no eruptions, no wahoos to save. Then... One day, the ground shook and the sky changed colors. Suddenly, everyone needs saving again. Um, yeah, uh, speaking of which, my grip is slipping. I'm gonna fall. Uh, whoa! Whoa! I'm okay, but there are creatures? Help! Sit tight, little Wahoo. The Bantam and the Wizard will save you. But how? Oh, hey, look, there are stairs over there. Angel, it's hero time! <laughs> right, let us head down the stairs into the volcano. We're going to be finishing off this area today. I don't care how long it takes, we're finishing off this area. We want to move into the next area, or at least I do. Um, but yeah, this is a cool dungeon. I kind of like it. Um, it's really, like, just different from everything else. Also, the dialogue in here is kind of good. Kind of good, not going to lie um right so this is like the black hole or f similar to it there you are angel this isn't what we pictured the inside of a volcano looking like is it boy <coughs> oh are those pipes leaking mana what the concentrated mana has given life to the lava you the bantam and his wolf will have to fight past them Lava creatures! Don't worry, wizard! Angel has our backs! Don't you, boy? Ha <laughs> ha! Now, 
Let's go have ourselves an adventure! Right, okie dokie. These guys are Lava Goonies. They are rank 19 elites, so slightly, slightly crazy. Um, let me just get up their stats. But they have 4,420 health. And they are fire, obviously, so that means probably mantles galore. Right? 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 Probably. Um, actually, no, not really. Just dots. This one's a dot. <laughs> These guys are dots. Um, they have a booster, ice, a resistor, fire. Don't know of what, um, but they have 113% outgoing damage boost, which is kind of crazy. So, yeah. Good luck. Good luck. They do have incendiate as well, so just be careful. That does destroys all overtimes and deals 200% um, of their damage. So, yeah, just be careful of that. That can hurt because it's basically doing double damage, so slightly worrying. But generally, oh, oh, oh I need to show you this. The, every time you get a fight with one of these guys, um, one of the heroes, spoiler, there's a few more, um, they give you a wee little item card to help you in battle, which is really cool. I like it. Um, so we're going to do it just because we want to see what it looks like. Not that it's like desperately necessary for me to do it because I can kill right now. Um, we're simply doing it just to see what it looks like because I think they're cool. Um, so it's basically a polymorph or shift spell, I guess is probably the best term for it, a shift spell. Um, we turn into the bantam and then attack. And I think this one does a little bit of damage and gives us a pip, I think. I think a pip. Yeah. Yeah. A power pip. Nice. Very cool. Very cool, very epic. You get one of those per fight for whichever one is in their fight at the time. So if we're in this fight and the Bantam's with us, then we get one of those each fight we're at. Um, so that's really cool. Really, really cool. It's basically like what the old companions, I guess you could call them, used to give. Like how in Chrysalis, Divum gave us a whole bunch of extra damage. These guys just give us cards now, which is... I kind of enjoy that because I don't necessarily think we need more, like, stats. And most of the companions that we've had recently, just the stats are just not really important, you know? And it's just really as if they're not helping. But if they're giving item cards, which one, look absolutely amazing. Um, and secondly, actually form a use. I think that's pretty cool. Take uh... that, you loathsome Lava Goonies! Ah, good name, right? Lava Goonies? Because they're made out of... Whatever. Angel liked it, didn't you, boy? <laughs> Anyhow, my theory is that the mana leaking from those pipes has animated the lava. Something strange is afoot, wizard. But what? And why? We don't have time for idle discourse, wizard. We've a lemur to save and an eruption to stop. Quickly, this way. Right, okie dokie. Let's go down. Kilowahu more. So yeah, this is basically like a reskin of the black hole, I guess you could call it. Um, it's not exactly because it's slightly smaller, but that's kind of the style of dungeon it is, if you remember the black hole in Chrysalis where we freed Grandfather Spider. Similar to that, kind of going down and down. More lava goonies! This adventure's really heating up. Huh? At least give me a smile, wizard. Your unchanging expression can be a bit off-putting. Right, I'll be back once I've defeated these Lava Goonies because they're basically exactly the same as before, except they have Storm Spells. Fine work, everyone. Now, let us venture forth with haste, sans witty commentary, lest we accidentally enjoy our adventuring. In another setting, his capriciousness would be worth study. Also, Lava Goonies isn't as clever as Humango's. Come, Tosh is this way. I love how, um, Bantam and Design don't really, um, line up as see eye to eye in the naming schemes. One thinks they're always better than the other, um, which is kind of funny. But yeah, those guys were basically the same. They had slightly less health, um, and they were slightly more annoying. They could stun, they could mantle a lot more, so yeah. Wait, I've read about these ocular constructs. Legends say they guard the hallowed secrets of the Old One himself. Oh, hey, and there's the lemur. Help! These floating eye things are just staring me down! It's creeping me out! For robots, they're so primal and evil! Primeval eyes! 
just dispatch with the patrolling peepers so we can get back to the task at hand. Right. Um, these, this, this man's his boss boy. He has a little bit of health. Um, and he has a boost to myth and life and a resist to fire and storm. So, yeah, just plan prematurely for that. Again, we've got Bantam, so we've got his card here, which we may or may not use. Not sure yet. Um, so, yeah. This guy does not cheat, which is good. He has um, a couple of star school spells. He has some heals. Um, and a couple of fire spells. He's got Ifrit, so be careful. He's got a couple of balance spells as well. And, yeah. That's, that, that's kind of all. That's kind of all he's got. So, he's not too bad. He's got uh, 12,580 health. We need to do something quickly. We will quickly blade. Um... Yeah, so not too bad. He is a golem, so if you want to get his extract, which you can get, you just need to get a golem, extract golem on him. It should be good. Um, and then he's got two minions, which are balance and ice. The balance guy has uh, 4,130 health. He's rank 18. We are stunned, which is great. Um, he has a boost to myth, life, and death as normal, just a normal balance. He does know balance gin, which does do minus 90 so just be careful of that still um he also knows obsidian colossus which does a minus uh two minus 25 um weaknesses as well so again just just be warned that they are kind of kind of good and then the ice guy he is uh 4805 health um so i think slightly more he boosts fire resist ice as normal um he knows not too many things um, he, he's not really a big worry. He can stun though, so just be careful. And it is an AOE stun. So, yeah, just, just, that's probably the only thing you need to worry about him for. Uh, so yeah, not terrible, not terrible, not terrible. Very doable, I would say, for most people. Um, let's blade again, and then we'll cleanse, I think. Uh, we actually need to put up a feint. We're gonna wait for the cleansing for a little bit later. I don't like how these guys are going first. It means they can screw me over with a weakness. Because I don't carry snack attack. Because why would I ever do that? <laughs> why would I ever choose to carry snack attack? Um, simply because I hate the spell. I would never choose to do it. <laughs> never choose to do that. What I do like about these guys. They look so cool. They look really, really cool. I love their design. It's just absolutely like so different and amazing. Obviously, we've seen them a little bit um, in the Mountains of Madness, which we did in the prequest. Um, but yeah, I just really like these guys' design. They're cool. And we see a few more of them in the future, which is nice. Um, but yeah, they're just they're just so cool. So cool. I love them. I love them. They're amazing. Okay, Frostbite. Kind of expected. Kind of expected a Frostbite eventually. Um, yeah, not too bad. Just waiting for this man's to pixie because he can do it. I'm also going to wait for the um, evil eye to the balance one to lose some pips because he could just e freak me and absolutely obliterate my plans. Um, speaking of, we're going to blade one more time. Going to blade one more time. We could actually use Bantam to take off the weakness. That would be a smart play. That would actually be a like a big brain strat right there. That would be crazy, actually. Maybe we should do that. Counter them with Bantam. e freak me right now. I dare you. Damn it. I thought he was going to e freak me. I would have been so happy. I would have been so happy, but he did not. That is sad. Actually, I'm kind of pleased that he didn't because that would have done so much damage. So much damage. It probably would have nearly killed me if he did it right then. Because I did have a, um, a plus 30 on. So, yeah. Not great. Not great. Not great. Um, right. Let's just Bantam first into a scarecrow that'll get off the weakness that'd be cool um skim not terrible will do a lot of damage though he does have two blades slightly worrying um we definitely need to probably hit we could actually die here high chance we die he didn't crit which is fantastic absolutely fantastic if he crit that would have been pain um what I don't even, I can't remember what his outgoing damage is, but yeah, that did a lot. That did a lot. This balance needs to not hit. He needs to just not hit at all, that is for sure. Yeah, he's 135 outgoing, the boss, so. Yep. 
this is not going well. We need to hit ASAP. He's blading. Oh no. He's gonna he's gonna He's gonna eat freak me next. Watch it. Watch it. What he needs like is it eight or nine pips? I can't remember. It's eight pips, yeah. So e e e I think he has that if he gets a power pip. Uh four five six. Yeah, if he gets a power pip he can eat freak me next. Balance e freight. And that would be pain because that's minus ninety. That's basically ruined my hit. I will die if he does that. Don't get a power pip. Please don't. I don't like this, but we're risking it. We're risking it. He's going to do it. I've put it into the universe. It's going to happen. Just watch it happen, and we're going to have to reset. But it's fine. He he would never. He would never. He he doesn't disrespect me like that. He he knows that his time is up. His time has come for death. See, I just, just knew he wouldn't do that. I was not worried at all. <laughs> I was not worried at all. Was never worried. Never, ever worried. Um, did we kill the boss? I think we did. I think we did. That would have done 14, so he should be dead. Should be dead. Yeah, we did. Three death sounds. Sounds good. Another resounding victory. Thanks for the help, Angel. <coughs> uh, you too, wizard. Lil Wahoo, you okay? It's been a day, but yeah, I think I'm okay. I would like to leave now, though. This place is breaking my brain. I mean, what's with that door? The door to the monitoring station. Quickly, wizard, open it with the incantation. Angel, escort Tosh to his new Kulakamba brethren. I'll be there as soon as I've helped the wizard with whatever lies beyond that door. <laughs> Okie dokie, that was a lot of XP, holy moly. Nearly halfway through level 140. Remember the words that worked in the wildlands. In existence, meaning. In knowledge, wisdom. In design, purpose. Yes. Yes, it's working. Great squawk. The door is opening. Best to stay behind me, wizard. You've no idea what could be lurking. Hey, wait for me. I know exactly what's lurking behind. We've been into one of these before. We've been in like two of these before. Um, right. Squawk, wow. What is this place? This adventure just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Perhaps it would be prudent for you to advise the Bantam to just sit quietly and not touch anything. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too, honestly. Why, we're standing in the very domain of the old one, aren't we? It's so... not what I expected. Are those buttons? Don't touch the buttons. Good idea. Who knows what they do, right? Oh, you know. How... You know what? I'm just going to shut up and watch. This must be quite a shock to the Bantam. This room redefines his entire world. Redefines his very existence. I can sympathize. Nevertheless, he does raise a valid point. You do remember how to synthesize the attunement stone, right? It's got to be one of these buttons. Congratulations, hero. You've discovered the secret of the Angry Mountain. The eruption simulations will be permanently ceased. When I plucked the lemurs from the spiral and brought them to my new world, I intended them to be the glue that binds Lemurian society. Ursi was an experiment to see how bear folk would react to a life in which they had but one environmental threat to account for, the volcano. The lemurs were tasked with guiding the bear folk, with the ultimate goal of having someone, a hero, conquer the volcano's eruptions. The pageantry they invented around the volcano was unexpected, yet illuminating. Thankfully, you were able to parse the true intention. You are clearly of an advanced ilk, but you have much to prove yet. Claim the next stone. Your quest will materialize from there. Right. Stone number two, I believe. I always believed the Wahoo sacrifices were twisting the Old One's will, but he knew of them, and he never stopped this pageantry. That's evil. Evil? 
That is the one we don't like, correct? Was the old one really evil? <laughs> he sat and watched as the bears sacrificed innocent lemur after innocent lemur to a fiery hole. And for what? His sick amusement. So he is evil. He allowed lives to be ended by being tossed into a hole. A hole which is like a cavity. Oh, did I... I... I must... This is heavy stuff, but we should probably stop thinking and start doing, yeah? We should devise a plan. That's the hero thing to do, right? So what's your plan for that stone? Open the darkest secret of the old one. I'm in! But we should probably update the Ursai villagers first. There's no way their non-hero minds can process everything we learned here. But they do need to know that Kilowahu has been silenced for good. That means no more horrific lemur sacrifices. Ever. I'll hang back and let you do the talking so there's no ghost who squawks, hubbub. Right, let us head back to Ursai, even though we're technically in Ursai village, but yeah. You see, technically in Ursai village, but we'll head back. Wizard, you've calmed Kilowahu! All hail the bold face outsider wizard! Tamer of Kilowahu! Come on, everybody! Bold face! Bold face! Bold face! Bold face! I just can't stay quiet. I, the Ghost Who Squawks, a.k.a. The Bantam, helped the wizard calm the volcano forever. We saved Tosh's life, too! Twice! Whoa! The Ghost Who Squawks is a friendly ghost? What a twist! Indeed! Especially friendly to bullied lemurs, like Wahoos, the likes of which formed the foundation of the Kulakamba tribe. But you all can help change that. Kilowahu isn't affected by a ceremony, and it certainly doesn't require a sacrifice. It never did! No, this eruption was caused by the recent mana infusion, the very same issue wreaking havoc all over Lemuria. That's a lot to process. Me figured the Kulakamba were just jealous of our laid-back paradise style. Me feel kind of bad now, but Tosh is okay? He is now. He's safe with the Kulakamba, a group who will value him and his life. I hope you all learned a valuable lesson here. I've learned I've been a bad hierarch and an even worse aunt. I vow to do better. Oh, and to trust outsiders more. Now, let's all go nap. Hooray! Bald face and bantam! Hooray, naps! Look at how they celebrate you. They love you. What is this feeling I now have? Doesn't matter. You and the Bantam must away to Telos. Ah, Telos. I haven't been here since I was a fledgling. I'll never forget it. They have the best street corn here. Anyway, we've got a dark old one secret to dive into. Let's keep this adventure rolling. Right, so let us place the next stone. Lovely, 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 lovely. Open up another door. Here we go. Squawk wow! Envy. That was the emotion that overtook me when I saw the Ursi praise you. But it came from somewhere else. Someone else. The old one. This is not the first time his feelings transferred. I inherited his guilt about abandoning Liburia, the very feeling that drove him to Caramel. He needed to reconcile the Cabal and the Arcanum so he could return to his office, to the creation he left there. I channeled that drive because I consumed him. His guilt. I didn't know what I was doing then. But I did it. Now I feel a new guilt. How do I alleviate it? Mind? <clears throat> blown. 
This has been the most invigorating adventure of my life. I feel like a whole new hero. What are we doing next? And now I envy the chicken. I need time to ruminate on my situation. You and the Bantam should see if Quartermain has had any luck with that map. Aha! The wizard! Like what I've done with the place? It's still a work in progress, but I've got plans. Big plans! Tell me of your adventures! Did you find another monitoring station? What bizarre monstrosities did you encounter? And is that a masked chicken? The name is Kit Barker. Most know me as the ghost who squawks. But you can call me the Bantam. Oh, I like the cut of this fella's jib. <laughs> now for my news. Our Lima hosts tell me there's another monitoring station in the night forest. It's a simple bushwhack through the wildlands. If you reach the Carnosaurs, you've gone too far. <laughs> Bentham, let's you and I look over this map. Right, that is where we're going to end off for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to craft outside the box. <laughs>